as soon as you see an x plus 2 in the denominator, you should think there's got to be an x plus 2 in the numerator, right? That's sort of what you're looking for. All right. Nick, why am I happy now? So you're going to wrap up limit. x approaches negative 2. And you have x squared minus 2x plus 4. Brianna, what do I do now, please? Good. So it's going to equal uh, negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2 plus 4, which happens to be 4 plus 4 plus 4, which happens to be 4. Didn't we do this one before yesterday? Yeah, that's familiar. Something close to it. Something close to that we did in the board. Is there a difference in y's? Let me pause this. Can I pause this? I'll pause this. In the general case, no, there isn't. You know what this reminds me of? I'm going to hit pause here. Because there is a, there's a x to the first. You will be a success in math. Okay, anyway. um, no, for the difference of fourths, sort of. The only thing you could do if you do something like this. If I had x to 4 minus 1, there isn't a direct difference of fourths formula. If you don't understand Harry Potter, don't worry about it. x to 4 minus 1. How might I factor this one? Math. X squared, but yeah, x squared plus one x squared minus one. Okay, am I done? No, I'm not done. What can I still do? Yeah, I mean, this one doesn't factor, but this one does. So this is going to be x squared plus one, uh, x plus one, x minus one. I do not believe that there is actually a difference of, or sum of fourths formula that you can do. Um, in the generic case. So I was reading a book this summer about a mathematician, I forget his name now, and um, he proved you can find a general form for like x to the 5 minus 1, but not, um, you know, not, they, they have to, all the coefficients have to be 0 in between, right? So there's not a generic way to factor things, right? So um, there might be, but off the top of my head, I don't know, and I don't expect you guys to. I was just wondering. If there's a question with x to the 4, and I if, there's, if there's an x to the 4, yeah, common factor thinking first. Yeah, and that should work then. All right, 3D. Why we take a lot of homework time in this class. Okay, 3D says, okay, I don't know why this one's so difficult. I shouldn't say that. Okay. Okay, I think subbing in x equals 1 Okay, subbing in x equals 1 gives 0 over 0. Matt, I'm going to start with you. What strategy do you think you should use for this question? Any idea? Which one you use for this question? Yeah, go ahead. Um, you can factor them, so in the numerator. Factor everything, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm just going to x minus 1. Yeah. X minus 1. Yeah. Sorry. X minus 1 and x minus 1. Okay, good. Now, Shannon, I'm going to skip on you right now because I know you know how to do this. When you look at that denominator, and I know half of you are taught to 10, so I harped on this all the way back then. When you look at the denominator, what should be the first thing you instantly do? Instantly, instantly, instantly. Courtney, I must have taught you in grade 10. Go ahead. Um, so the next one would be x squared minus 1. Good. Common factor first always. Okay, so this is x times x squared minus 1, which now is going to turn to the limit. x approaches 1, x minus 1, x minus 1, all over x times x plus 1, x minus 1. Okay. Savannah, why am I happy? Yeah, just a Also, that turns into limit x approaches 1, x minus 1, x all over x minus x plus what should I do now? I guess you can just sub in. You certainly can. Okay, so we're going to sub in x equals 1. And you should get. Zero. 
Is it okay to have a limit of zero? I say yes, a limit of zero is okay. No problem with that. Okay, you just can't have a limit of infinity or zero over zero. Steve, is there a read? Is there a problem? Question? I'm sorry, I have no problem. Question, you're feeling okay? No, that's, I got that. Good. Nice and fast. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. John, you're the salary went wrong there? No, I didn't. Okay. All right, um, 4C. Oh, is this the one? 4C is the one? 4C. Oh, yeah. Oh, 4C. Oh, this no. Hi. Okay, people. Oh, really? I mean, I tried. Okay, I'm going to pause in the machine right now, and I want everyone to try this one out. I will give, I'm actually going to ask Megan Lowe to give me a first step, if she could, and then I'll let the rest of the class finish it. When you look at that one, what would be a good thing to try to do? Rob, you helped her. What would be a good thing to try for first step? Sorry? Yeah, so for those who are talking as loud as possible, what Robbie quietly said was add the numerator, simplify the numerator, add it together. Okay, so I'm going to hit pause and give you about 60 seconds to try this. And then you please do me a favor and add the numerator for me. Go ahead. Please ask, because this is the key to these questions. If you gave up on this and didn't try it because it looked too difficult, it's not shame, shame on you. I'm doing it shame on you. Okay? You should because this is this is totally doable. You guys should be able to do this. Dakota first. Okay, let's Dakota go ahead. If you need a bracket exponent, I'm not gonna do it. Is that really what I meant? Naturally, it's just naturally. Okay, so what I just did there, right, you were doing like common denominator, so when you do this, you just need to multiply these two for the common denominator. On the left hand side, really the way I should have written it was one times that minus one times that. Right? Because when you think about how common fractions work, right, I have to multiply this by x plus a, and then the same thing, multiply this times a. So really it's like put down the middle, right, the two fractions and just combine them together. I'm going to get rid of that. All right. Like that. I thought it was. But he looked at me strangely. Can you simplify that for me, please? X, right? Now, because like the two, right? Because the two A's is like plus A and minus A. So it's 50 X. Okay, what is divided by X? How do I deal with divided by X? Times 1 over X. Taylor, why am I happy now? Uh, yeah. X is canceled. So this just turns into limit X equals to 0, 1 over 8 times X. Didn't we do one on the board of this yesterday? I thought we did one almost exactly the same. Oh, oh, this, is a, so this is the one with the, as we talked about, this one was the, um, the secant right for the triangle. Remember for the one that makes the triangle the area of 2? Didn't we do this? Remember that one back? So this should take care of your limit that turns to 1 over a squared. You really should. Okay. You guys can do this, right? Like, last night, every question should have been doable. Probably the most difficult one on there was um, 1D. 1D was the only one that you could have mixed up on, right? But the rest of these, I was hoping, should have been very nice. Where does the x go on the denominator? Oh, so what I just, take a good question, because I sort of skipped over that. Remember, these are times, so the stuff I did show is a smush together, right? So really, this is x all over a times x plus a times x. Okay. And then you want to need the x in the numerator, x in the denominator across. Oh, okay. Yeah, please feel free, like, just what Shannon did there, right? If something's not clear, as you know, if you guys don't talk, I just keep rambling on, in all honesty, right? So please stop me. If you haven't been here in a week, 
prison or swimming champion or something, um, please stop me when I'm going through this and ask away, okay, if that's the case. Good. Okay, I'm going to stop the video and we'll uh, start our lesson. Our lesson is going to continue with more limits.